Varendra Museum Bengali, Varendra Jadughara is a museum, research center, and popular visitor attraction at the heart of Rajshahi town and maintained by Rajshahi University in Bangladesh. It is considered the oldest museum in Bangladesh. It was the first museum to be established in East Bengal in 1910. The museum started out as the collection for Varendra Anishandan Samiti or Varendra Investigation Society and got its current name in 1919. The Rajas of Rajshahi and Natori, notably Prince Sharat Kumar Ray, donated their personal collections to Varendra Museum. Varendra refers to an ancient Janapada roughly corresponding to modern northern Bangladesh. History. Varendra or Barand was a region of Bengal, now in Bangladesh. It included the Pundravardhana or Pundra Kingdom region. According to Cunningham the boundary of Varendra was the Ganges and the Mahananda on the west, the Karatoya on the east, the Padma on the south, and the land between Kuchbihar and the Terai on the north. The Varendra Brahmins originated from this region. Ancient Bengal did not have any Brahmins in its community. It is popularly believed that Brahmins were brought in to preach Hindutva, though really not the Vedic Hinduism as it is commonly believed, but more of the Puranic Hinduism type, which evolved after Buddhism flourished. This Puranic Hinduism is what we know as Brahmanism. Varendra Burendra, Bhumi, i.e., modern-day North Bengal, had its Brahmanism awakening soon after the South got its share. Shyamal Varma, a Kshatriya king brought five Brahmanas from Kanuj, Sanaka, Bardwaja, Savarna, Sandilya, and Vasistha. The Bhadariya, Maitriya, Sitar, Bhagshri and Lahariya villages soon gave birth to the Brahmin clans of Baduri, Moitra, Sanyal, Bagchi and Lahiri. These came to be known as the Varendra Burendra, Brahmins. The settlement of Varendra, spoken as Janakapu fatherland, was one of the most flourishing territories of the ancient Indian subcontinent. Literary and epigraphic evidence show that a separate school of artisans earned wide reputation here at the reign of Pala dynasty and the streams of art making were uninterrupted until the Sena dynasty. Some of the leading and enlightened citizens of Rajshahi felt the necessity and justification of establishing such an institution that would explore the precious past of this region. Henceforth, the Varendra Research Society was established in 1910. The founder of the society, Kumar Surat Kumar Ray, the scion of the Diopadiya royal family accompanied by Aksaya Kumar Maitreya, a leading lawyer and renowned historian, Ramaprasad Chanda, a reputed scholar in history, art and archaeology, and others explored archaeological and historical artifacts excavated in villages of Rajshahi. The conviction grew in Kumar's mind if a center of archaeological research was to be established at Rajshahi, the finds should be preserved there as the nucleus of a local museum. Accordingly, to collect, preserve, study and research the history and culture of ancient and medieval Bengal in general, and of Varendra region in particular, three worthy sons of the soil mentioned above took the effort to establish a museum. The Varendra Research Society and Museum was set up at Rajshahi in 1910. It is the premier institution of its kind and the splendid accomplishment of its organization in Bangladesh. The role of the society concerning the museum was that of proprietor and caretaker. However, this was formally inaugurated on 27 September 1910 and was registered in 1914 in accordance with the Indian Society Act, 1860. Varendra Museum was the first museum to be established in erstwhile East Bengal in 1910. It started as the collection for Varendra Anushandan Samiti or Varendra Investigation Society and got its current name in 1919. The Rajas of Rajshahi and Natori notably Prince Sharat Kumar Ray donated their personal collections to Varendra Museum. Varendra refers to an ancient Janapada roughly corresponding to modern northern Bangladesh. Excavation at Sampur Bihara was started by the society along with the University of Calcutta in 1923. In 1964, the museum became a part of Rajshahi University. Collection Gallery 1 has collections from the Indus Valley Civilization, and some of its 265 items from Sampur. It also contains Old Sanskrit, Arabic and Persian scripts. 
Gallery 2 has Buddhist and Hindu stone sculptures and modern wood sculptures. Galleries 3 and 4 display stone sculptures of Hindu gods and goddesses. Gallery 5 offers mostly Buddhist sculpture. Gallery 6 shows Arabic, Persian, Sanskrit and Old Bengali stone inscriptions and sculptured stones of the Muslim period. A gallery has been added displaying the indigenous and tribal culture of Rajshahi region. Topic: <laughs> Site surroundings. In the existing site, 3 main structures were found. The front part is the Varendra Research Museum and the structural system is load-bearing brick wall. The linear rectangular building has two major functions, administration and the library. There is a residential block for officers and staff with a limited number of curators and the director. These structures have been constructed with brick. There is a garden in front of the director's residence with large old trees scattered among the entire site. Services Gas, water, electricity is available with internet, postal, cable and phone services. Surrounding built form North, Hatim Kha Boro Mosque South, Chest Disease Hospital Jidhor Moor, Choto Kutir, Boro Kutir and Padma River East, Rajshahi Govt. Hospital, Shahab Bazaar Road and Rajshahi Railway Station West, Residential Zone, Shops Topic. Museum extension Varenda Research Museum was built in 1910 with the support of Maharaja of Diapadia. The museum has historical significance and is also a heritage site of Bangladesh. The century-old museum demands restoration and the existing gallery space is not adequate to preserve and display all the artifacts. Also the archaeological sites were found recently and the artifacts are increasing day by day. The restoration program of existing museum has already begun. With the rise in number of artifacts in its inventory throughout the recent years and its added functional demand, the extension of this project has become inevitable to protect the old museum and to preserve the artifacts that has helped us learn more about our very own past. Topic Gallery Topic External Links Chowdhury, Saifuddin, twenty twelve Varendra Research Museum in Islam, Sirahul, Jamal, Ahmed A. Banglapedia, National Encyclopedia of Bangladesh, second ed. Asiatic Society of Bangladesh History of the Varendra Research Museum